Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone Today's video I'm gonna give you some tutorial about how to create a story using storyboard.com Okay, for your information, so you can actually create a storyboard using this official website So you can go and open your Google Chrome browser uh, on your computer and then type on the address www.storyboardthat.com okay, and then click enter so what the, the first thing that you need to do is you need to log in and then uh, to sign up you could actually use some accounts for example you, you may use your Google account clever Microsoft Facebook and be even Twitter account so the first thing so I'm gonna log in with my Google account okay so for your information if it is the first time for you to log in so actually you need to choose whether you are an educator to use this storyboardthat.com for making material or maybe given assignment to the students okay so this is actually the first home page for the storyboardthat.com so the first thing you need to do is you have to click the create new storyboard to start creating story using this uh, website so this is the first uh, home page that you will have in your storyboardthat.com so here you could create some scenes and also stories using this layout so first thing to do you need to decide which layout do you prefer so here you have traditional storyboard uh, season time 9 cinematic so this is uh, actually I use tra traditional storyboard because it is easier when you are creating stories scene by scene and then you also may choose uh, the number of the cells that you prefer to create so here uh, the template is actually three but you can add more by clicking uh, the cells okay like this one okay I make it 10 and then you can click update storyboard okay for your information in storyboard you may put some different scene for each cells in your storyboard that.com for example uh, there are some scene for the town entertainment home home outdoor school athletics until you have a patterns and actually you may scroll down and you there are a lot of choices that you could choose which uh, scenes do you prefer and then about characters they have a lot of characters here from maybe young man young girl until you have an old characters and then you also have like uh, text tables that you may choose when you are writing some of the dialogue in your storyboard so you may choose and also shapes that you could actually uh, decide which shapes uh, that is uh, suitable for the story and also infographics web wife uh, wireframes that we have hand gestures emojis and also uh, I okay and the very first time maybe I'm gonna see like for the scenes in entertainment maybe uh, this one this picture so it is a library and then I need the characters maybe I need a woman okay I'm gonna select the very first woman okay maybe this one okay so when you have done uh, selecting the characters you can edit the pose edit pose and then you can choose uh, the expressions of this woman or maybe this woman looks happy maybe not too happy and then you can also select for the positions yeah front back right and left maybe I'm gonna choose for the left then here is speaking and then you can also choose for the arms okay maybe it sounds like the woman is uh, calling somebody and then you can update okay so here we have this woman's then actually uh, so we see there is one chair next to this woman and then we could actually edit the post that like 
she is sitting on the chair uh, this way and then we're gonna put on exactly on the chair okay and uh, we got we can also resize for the characters and then we can put the text table so, okay so we can select and drag uh, for example uh, uh, the condition is she is calling somebody and then we can actually write like hello okay so we need the second scenes so we go we go back and then we choose for the scenes the second scenes maybe uh, she is talking to a man so we choose athletic maybe mm. maybe we will choose athletic school okay so maybe the second scene is uh, she is calling somebody or maybe her uh, her friends and then we're gonna put the scene like uh, the person is in the gym and then I'm gonna choose the characters I think the character would be great by this man okay okay this is the characters maybe it's not so if you do know uh, if you want to delete this character just click delete and then change the characters like maybe this is okay so I have these characters okay and then uh, what we will do so we can edit the post and then we do the same thing like uh, he is speaking and uh, we have like complaining speaking determined and scared and confused when speaking and then with the right arm on his ear okay or maybe not this one this one or maybe not. okay then I'm gonna update okay so just pretend that uh, he is actually holding a phone and then talking to the woman yeah and then we're gonna put the text table and then click the appropriate a text table by click and drag and then after that we're gonna write for the conversations that he is having like hey Hi. Hi, Jill. It's Jack. What, what are you doing? Okay. And then after that, we can do the same things like we did at the first cell. And then we're gonna choose the scene with the same scenes like uh, before, like this in, in the library. And then we also choose the same characters. These characters, and then we edit the pose and also this one. Let's just sit hands. I'm gonna update and then we put the character uh, the text table sorry okay text table like i am at the library okay i'm reading a, i'm reading a book in the library And okay and then so we can actually uh, positions the chat bubbles and then we go to the next cells 
so we go the same things like uh, the second one okay uh, before you do like uh, save we make sure that everything is okay from the first cell to the last cell okay I'm you can do actually um, maybe when you are teaching a student or, or kids you can actually create a comics and you can actually put some of the materials in the conversation or in the dialogue okay so uh, when you have done let's say so I think I haven't edited for these characters so I can edit the pose then and put the hands like she is uh, having a, a call and so this so actually you can edit some of the hair see skin eyes shirt pants and also shoes for the colors and also if you want to change the person with a beard this is a long beard with a mustache so actually it is very uh, it is very easy for you to change for the characters and also this is the position of the head and also the expressions so you can have like an angry expressions complaining sleeping sitting it's based on the story that you are making and then so I'm gonna put this and then update so make sure the chat bubble is in the right positions this one maybe this is too close okay and this is too okay i think when everything is done everything is checked you can actually click save here okay you can click save okay when you have done it uh, you can write a table so maybe because this conversation mostly using present continuous I'm gonna write a present continuous tense so this is example of, uh, if you are teaching present continuous and then you can save storyboard click the save storyboard and then there would be choices so this is a choices because I am having a uh, 14 days left so I can actually have a complete cells for the 10 cells yeah? 1 2 3 4 5 okay and then there are so many options when you click this download okay you can exactly uh, print so when you click download so you can have option whether you want to have it like an image pack image pack means you will have uh, one picture one picture for each cells yeah for example i'm gonna click image pack and then i'm gonna click ok so this is only for example i'm still waiting Okay, so present continuous image pack. I'm gonna put in the storyboard folder. I'm gonna save. Okay, so uh, the output file it would be in RAR format, but let's say it is uh, the picture would be uh, would not be together like one picture with the whole cells. But if you wanna have it in in one picture with the whole cells like this stuff, like this. So you can have a click for download and then uh, you can click download one giant image of your entire storyboard. So it means your one picture consists of many cells. Okay, we're gonna click and then okay. So we're gonna have it. Okay, and then save okay when we open the file for the first time so this is actually my so I'm gonna delete for this time and then uh, this is for the high res it means uh, one big picture that consists of many scenes of a story so I'm gonna click so this is what uh, I will have 
so I have won the first scene, second scene, like hello, hi Jill, it's Jack, what are you doing? and then you can have the whole story in one image okay, so this is for example and then uh, it would be great if you put it in one or maybe different uh, separated like uh, cell by cell so but like before I have done it so you can have like a flashcard too when you are teaching to the student uh, extract here so I have one picture with a different story okay like this one hello hi Janice Jack what are you doing I'm reading books at the library what are you doing I'm working out at the gym I'm planning to go to the cinema okay so actually that is what I'm going to share it with you okay I think that's all a tutorial about making a short story using storyboarddead.com I hope this video could help you making a short story using every website available and then I hope that you could like this video and then subscribe this channel so I could make more video about teaching and also tools or applications in teaching thank you very much wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh